Hi there, this is Rishabh and I welcome you to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Nginx on your MacBook machine. But before that, let me take a few seconds and talk about what exactly Nginx is. So, whenever you are accessing some web application or even a simple website, there happens to be a software which is serving all the content which you are asking for, right? So, uh, whenever you, let's say, go to some server like www.something.com, there is always a web server which is running on the other side of the world and that web server knows that if somebody is requesting me then these are the files let's say every web server has a directory of files where all those files are kept so whenever you make a request the web server actually knows that this is the file which i need to return so it returns you uh, some html file along with some I, I shouldn't say some because there can be hundreds of files in some cases just to render a single page but uh, I mean for the simplistic reasons you can actually understand it like this that the web server will actually return you the file which then your browser will render so your browser first reads the file from a remote server and then it actually renders the file now I, I like the the idea behind this video is that I'll help you understand the web server slightly uh, in, a, in a slightly better fashion by actually installing it on my local machine and because Nginx happens to be very common and web application development happens to be very common. So I think this is a use case which you may come across every now and then. So in case you happen to be installing Nginx and if you're facing any trouble in installing Nginx, then this video can definitely help you. So in this video, I'm going to talk specifically about MacBook. If you happen to be on Linux or Windows, you can actually uh, check those instructions on Google. But once you have the basic idea of what Nginx is, I think getting it to work on your machine becomes slightly easier. Now on uh, MacBook, the very first thing which we need to do whenever we have to install a web server is to check whether I have Homebrew installed or not. For that, I can simply do brew, then I can hit enter. And if something good is coming up, like if some help commands are being shown, it means that it is installed. Then the next step, uh, what I have to do is I just have to say brew install then I have to type Nginx, Nginx is the name of the web server, I have to hit enter and here we go. It may ask me for the sudo password, I believe, no, cool. So in your scenario, uh, in certain scenarios, I should say that it may ask you for the sudo password and you may have to provide it. So here we can see that the default port uh, has been set. Uh, this is the configuration file where I can change the default port, but currently it happens to be 8080. What exactly is this port? Well, we may definitely cover it in some future video because it happens to be out of the scope for this specific video. So Nginx can run without sudo. Nginx will load all the files which are present here. Now let me see what is the information which is useful to us. Uh, before I actually go and see, uh, like make any changes to the configuration, first of all, let's do something. Let's first of all start Nginx. So brew services, then start, then Nginx. Hit enter and it should start. Nginx already started. Okay, use brew services restart if we have to restart. Now what I'll do, I'll just go to let's say localhost and 8080. As you can see, welcome to Nginx on Mac. It is already running. Or uh, in your scenario, it will actually show you welcome to Nginx. So on Mac has its own story, which I'll be sharing in some future video. But what you need to, need to understand is that if you are able to see this page, it means that Nginx is already installed on your machine. So now let's go ahead. Now what we need to do is we need to set the root directory. Root directory is basically where Nginx will be looking for the files which you will be asking for, right? Now, where can we check what it is set to? Well, I have to go to this directory which is mentioned here. That is who, uh, opt homebrew etc nginx nginx.conf. Now I would like to highlight one point here that in this scenario, in, in this case, it happens to be this directory if you are on a Linux Ubuntu or if you are on Windows, then definitely the location is going to be slightly different. You can always Google and find it out. So here I am in the required directory. Now I need to just go ahead and edit my vi-nginx.conf. But before that, I should know that which directory is it that I want to set as my root. So let me go ahead and let me actually create that directory, right? So I am here, like I am at my home. 
and what I can do is I can create a new folder I can call it www let's create it and let's just open it in the VS code so that we can add files also now let me open the terminal here also let me check the path so it is users 404 and www this is what so this is basically the directory where I want to serve the files from where I want my web server to serve the files from right so yeah let's go now let's go ahead and edit nginx.conf and let me just find out the line where root is written so yes here we go this is where root is written and what we have to do is we just have to edit and yeah this is it this is it this is all we need to do okay let me remove the extra semicolon now what i can do is i can simply save and exit out of it so here we go now what we need to do we need to restart the nginx so brew services restart nginx hit enter okay so successfully stopped successfully started now let's just go ahead and see 403 forbidden the reason being that we have changed the path right the root path has been changed and there are absolutely no file is available now let me just try and say index.html let me just write hello world in html okay spellings are important oh that's it so this is the index.html file it's available in the www now if i try to refresh hello world in html so the idea is that after changing the root to the desired directory to the desired folder we are able to serve html files from that specific directory so in this fashion if you happen to be on mac if you want to install nginx you can install nginx with the help of homebrew just by typing brew install nginx and then you can update the root directory for that nginx by visiting the nginx nginx.conf file by editing it and then you can serve your html files from there so yes that's all i wanted to cover in this video so i hope that now you understand what nginx as a web server is of course there are many details which i'm not able to discuss in this video but i will be talking about them as we come across uh, the use cases for such details right if there are any questions you feel free to ask me i'll be more than happy to answer all the all the questions which you ask through comments so uh now in future if i create any videos where i'm working on some web application and if i refer to a web server and if you don't have it installed on your machine i will be referring to this video again and again and i hope this video was useful to you and it helped you to install nginx on your machine so yep that's it from my side for this video i'll see you in the next one till then you take care and bye bye